Hello everybody, I'm Dan. Welcome to my Java tutorial series. Throughout my tutorials I will teach you Java using just Notepad and the command prompt. The order in which my tutorials are organized on both my website at javacjava.com and my YouTube playlist is designed to maximize learning by building on concepts from prior tutorials. This is part three of my polymorphism mini-series. I'm going to open up my web browser to my website javacjava.com, select menu and Java OOP tutorials. Let's scroll down here to the polymorphism part three. In my previous polymorphism tutorials, I conceptually introduced you to the principle of virtual method invocation, also known as polymorphic method invocation. At runtime, the JVM determines which method to invoke based on the type of the object, not the type of the reference variable. And that is the virtual and virtual method invocation. It is important to understand that polymorphic method invocation applies only to instance methods. It should go without saying, uh, but overriding instance methods in a subclass is critical for virtual method invocation to even be performed. Now, because polymorphic method invocation, I'm using these things, you know, interchangeably here just to, you know, they're, they're both the same term, but I'm using them interchangeably so you get accustomed to hearing that term there. So because polymorphic method invocation only applies to overridden instance methods, there are quite a few rules that need to be learned about overriding methods. Future tutorials will cover each rule in great detail. Now, the purpose of this tutorial is to demonstrate that polymorphic method invocation only applies to instance methods. So an instance method does not contain the static keyword. Right? It does not contain the static keyword in the declaration statement. A class method or static method does contain the static keyword in the declaration statement. Right, So it does have it. Now, can a static method be overridden? Well, the technical answer is no. But there is more to it than just that. When we declare a static class method with the same signature in a subclass, we are not overriding the method, we are hiding the method. I will be going into more detail on the topic of hiding methods in a future tutorial. Now a hidden method is, uh, is called based on the reference variable type, not the object type. In that case, polymorphism doesn't even apply. Okay, let's go ahead and come down here and highlight some code. Control C to copy or right click and select copy. I'm going to move my browser off screen. I've got a shortcut to the command prompt on my desktop, but if you don't, you can create one by right-clicking, selecting new shortcut. I can CMD next and finish. Okay, let's go ahead and open that up. Type in Java C, which is Java compiler command. You should see all this stuff scroll by. However, if you get an error message, watch my tutorial on installing the Java development kit. You want to make sure you get that installed and configured properly prior to continuing. CD space backslash, CD is short for change directory, backslash tells it to go to the root. Now I'm going to make a directory called Java using the MD command, but if, and I already have it, but if you don't, it'll create it for you. Change directories to the Java folder, and I'm going to make a directory here called poly3. And then I'm going to notepad uh, poly3.java after changing to the poly3 directory there. Poly3.java is going to be the name of my source code file, also known as a compilation unit. Control V to paste that in. I'm going to save this here. Okay, so most of this code is just recycled from previous tutorial there. I stripped some out too. Um, got the car class, the Honda Accord extends car, right? And Toyota Prius extends car there too as well. Now, up here in the Poly3, the main method here, I'm declaring C1, C2, and C3, all of car type, right? And I'm setting C1 equal to a new car object, C2 equal to a new Honda Accord object, and Toyota Prius equal to a new instance of Toyota Prius. And when I use when I say instance like that, it's the same exact thing as object. I just use the two terms interchangeably. So sometimes I'll use one, sometimes I'll use the other, just FYI. Okay, and then when we use the reference variable C1, C2, and C3 to invoke the average price, of course, if you've been following these polymorphism tutorials, you'll know which um, particular um, 
average price will actually get invoked, right? So I've got an override of average price in each one of these, in both the Honda Accord and the Toyota Prius, right? Okay, so, and if you haven't watched my other tutorials, I highly recommend watching all three of those um, before continuing on with this one here, all my previous polymorphism specifically tutorials there. So, now, um, I'm gonna go ahead and compile this here and run it. Let's clear our screen. You know what, before I do, I think I just wanna comment this line and this line here. Don't wanna cause any any confusion prior to that. Okay, oh, notepad, do that. Java C, compile that source code file, Java to run the Java virtual machine. Okay, so that's what we get there. Just what we expected if you've been watching my tutorials there. Average price of a new car, 28.4, 26,007, Toyota Prius, 23,450, right? And that's polymorphism. That's virtual method invocation, also known as polymorphic method invocation, okay? So the Java runtime determines which method to invoke based on the type of the object not the reference variable. So, uh, and that's displayed right here. So the type of C2 is a, is a Honda Accord, right? So it invokes the uh, average price method in Honda Accord that's been overridden, right? So pretty, pretty basic there, okay? So now I'm a display line. And what happens, for example, um, I need to come down here. And I added this new, new method into the car class here called new car smell. And you'll notice it's static. So that makes this a class method, right? Average price does not have a static keyword. So it is an instance method, right? And an instance method is instance is essentially the same thing as like an object. So when you think of your object on the memory heap, it has this, this method right here, right? So this is a class method right here that can be directly invoked, but we can also refer to it, you know, as uh, we can also invoke it as a reference using a reference too. And that's where where we kind of run into some gray area here. So, but anyway, so we've got static void new car smell and it displays to the console this string literal, nothing quite like that new car smell. Now down here in the Honda Accord class, um, you'll notice I've got what looks like an override, an overridden method here, right? Same, same signature, method signature, right? Same declaration essentially here, static void new car smell, right? But this is what's called method hiding. All right, so let's see. Um, and when this gets invoked, it displays, hmm, is the new car smell really different based on the model, right? Okay, so two methods here, new car smell, and just let you know that this one is not overriding this one. And I'll go into that in just a second there. So let's uh, come back up here and I've uncommented these two lines, right? And let's go ahead and run it here. Shall we recompile run? Oh, did I not save that? Help if I saved it. Okay, so we get um, on this particular line right here, invoking the average price, exactly what we expected. The average price of a Honda, new Honda Accord is 26,007. So polymorphism invokes the method based on the object or instance type, right? C2 is a Honda Accord object type. Okay, so now new car smell, uh, you can see when that was invoked, because it's a static method, displayed nothing quite like that new car smell, which we know is the static method from the car class, right? Not from the Honda Accord class. So static method or class method invokes the method based on the reference variable type. There is no poly polymorphism with static methods whatsoever, right? So the reference variable type C is of car, or C2 is of car type, right? So that will tell it to go ahead and invoke the new car smell. So this, this can be a little confusing at first when you're learning all this stuff there. And there's a lot of rules to polymorphism, you know, but really once you have a great understanding of it, it's, it's a really cool tool to use. So, 
What I'm going to do is now I'm going to create a new Honda Accord type HA and set that equal to new Honda Accord and then invoke the new car smell, right? Because that's new car smell is static and this is going to be a Honda Accord type. Doesn't matter what the object type is, right? But a Honda Accord type, it will go ahead and invoke the new car smell from the um, Honda Accord on what looks like an overridden method, right? But it's not. Let's go ahead and let's make sure I save that. Clear our screen. Java C, recompile, rerun. Okay, so as you can see, right uh, now when I, when I invoke the new car smell on the HA type with HA reference variable, which is a Honda Accord type, it displays. Hmm, is the new car smell really different based on the model, right? So, as you can see, with a static method, it's invoking the um, and static methods are invoked based on the reference variable type not on the object type, right? C2, new car smell, still invokes the car version of the new car smell um, method, okay? All right, now, basically what we have here is this is method hiding, right? Um, so even though it looks like we're overriding, it is technically a, uh, a principle called method hiding in Java. If I uncomment the add override, which is the override annotation, which tells the compiler that, hey, there's a problem if we try to compile this and we're not actually overriding a method from our superclass, right? Um, I'll just show you this here, right? So we won't even be able to compile this if I put the at override annotation in here. Let's go ahead and clear our screen, Java C, and there we go. Error, method does not override or implement a method from the super type, right? So we're telling it the next method is going to be overridden. Well, it's not overridden, it's actually method hiding, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and save that, come back here. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time explaining uh, method hiding there. Just know that for the time being there, because that's going to be a own separate tutorial on method hiding and everything like that. So, but uh, that's what's going on with that. Now, um, the one other thing that I wanted to go over with here is that, you know, basically the purpose of a static method really isn't to be called via, you know, reference like this up here, right? It really, that's the primary purpose of it is so it can be directly called, right? So remember, we can also directly call static methods. And that's really kind of their primary purpose here. So we can say car.newcarsmell and honda.accord.newcarsmell. So let's go ahead and save that, come up here, recompile, clear my screen, run it there. So here we get, remember, we can also directly call static methods. Nothing quite like that new car smell, and hmm, is the new car smell really that different based on the model? Okay, so I am going to go ahead and close out of this, get rid of that, and leave you guys with some final thoughts here. Um, the one important thing to take away from this tutorial is that polymorphic method invocation only applies to instance methods. That concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.